Hey gang, Jagalair here. Uh, just tinkering around with some stuff, some stuff, and thought you might want to take a look. Uh, the kids have had, they will have had as of tomorrow, three snow days in a row, which means I had to get out of the house. So I, of course, uh, went to thrift stores, as is my standard operating procedure. While I was out, found some absolutely amazing stuff. Some I'm not ready to show, but one thing I am, uh, and I'll probably do a full look at this later, but for some of you who may know what this is, this is the Sony Mavica. Now this is a bizarre camera, and I just couldn't pass it up because I saw it there and I'm like, okay, it's got the lens cap on, it's got the strap that says Sony. Ah, it looks awesome. And then lo and behold, I open up the back, and that's right, it records to CDs. You heard that, not DVDs, CDs. So I've got to get some of those little guys in here. Now, the reason I'm doing this video specifically is because uh, I ran into a problem that I'm sure some of you have run into in the past, which is you get the 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 thing that you got home and you get the battery out and then the battery's dead and of course you're like oh no I'll have to go and find a charger and you look at Walmart or Best Buy where you can pick it up today and it's like $25 and you look at Amazon you can get it two days from now and it's $10 and you're like isn't there something I can do at home turns out there is as long as you have a power supply now, there are a bunch of different kinds, and I have uh, this little beauty that I picked up. Uh, ex well, anyways. So this is the model, model TP325 triple power adapter. And what it is, you can see the lights on there, and we've got the power switch on over here. It's actually got three different, one, to three different kinds of power supplies. Now the bottom one is low voltage. You can see that it's from zero to six volts. And these are from zero to 32 volts. Now, the fascinating thing is, is that you can switch it from volts to amps. Volts, amps. And I, I love the little switches. Now, what I'm doing is, is I'm charging the battery. Those, Okay, so yes, I know those are pieces of solder held by alligator clips balanced in a battery. I'm a bad man. Don't be a bad man. Do it the safe way. Which would be something other than what I'm doing. Maybe you nail some nails in a piece of wood and then saw off the nails and then put the alligator clips on the nails and then turn the battery upside down, that way if the battery falls over, it just turns the whole thing off. Not what I'm doing though. So, here's essentially how, so the bottom part is pretty standard. You've got the, the positive, negative, and you've got the ground. Now you've got the ground, and then the top part gets a little weird, and I don't understand it all myself, so I'll leave that alone. But, the thing I do understand is that, basically this is making power, putting the power in the battery, and then more power is coming back out. Now, here's the trick. So, right now, I've got uh, 0.5 amps going in there, which I checked the rating, and that's perfectly fine. But if I turn this down, eventually it goes whoop, and then if I turn down too far, my voltage meter up here starts moving. Uh, it's hard to see that go up, but... So essentially we want to keep this one up and that one down. Because eventually what will happen is that there will be more energy in the battery than on the power supply. So you have to constantly monitor it. Now, if you spend the $10 or $20 or whatever, buy an official one, then it does it for you. It also, I know that this battery 
uh, don't ask how I know, but I know that if the power goes up too high, it has a safety valve or a safety switch, circuit, whatever, and it shuts it down. So it basically says, nope, too much power coming in. And I know that because the little fault light glows, glows bright red and goes, oh, oh, oh. So I didn't do that. But that's, uh, I'm going to get some discs so that we can play with this. Because I, I find the idea of recording a video on a, cause, so this, the, the discs in here hold 24 minutes. And here's my idea. My idea is to do a dumb project or challenge or whatever where I have 24 minutes of film to do whatever I want. And then the finale means that, oh, 24 minutes, done. And then I just kind of go from there. I know, haven't thought it out much, but sounds like fun to me. Anyways, um, that's what I'm working on that I'm ready to show you. I uh, also have uh, something from Sony and something from some other company that I don't remember that I'm uh, tinkering with and pulling apart. Uh, the Sony thing had already been pulled apart before, so I'm going to pull it apart again, pull it apart again, and put it back together the right way. But that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and as always, play on!